I have to say it is astonishing to me that our government is going after an app called TikTok when the app known as Whatnot exists because Whatnot is very dangerous in my opinion. I have an interesting relationship with that app because I put it on my phone. I have a friend who sells on there and he quite enjoys it. I see a lot of YouTubers talk about selling and buying stuff on there. So I've had that app on my phone for a while and I've watched a lot of shows but haven't bought anything just because I wasn't tempted enough to make that first purchase to break the ice. I also, if to be honest, I didn't quite understand how it works if I buy multiple items and how do I pay? Do I get a subtotal? Do I get invoiced or like what's going on here? How does this actually work? And that kind of kept me on the fence for a long time. But I put an astonishing amount of hours into just watching the, <laughs> the live streams, but not buying anything. <clears throat> then over the weekend, last weekend, the dam broke and I placed four different orders on whatnot. And there's going to be a lot of comics coming in from those orders. I have received one and I'm going to show you what I got. But first, I do have a small order from eBay that wouldn't have warranted its own video. So I'm going to show you three books that I got off eBay first here. I had a really busy weekend of buying comics. Um, it's been a while since I've done these hauls regularly because I was doing something that I called the 100 Everything Challenge. But for various reasons, I have decided to abandon that challenge. And I'll just tell you one of the reasons I'm abandoning, abandoning the 100 Everything Challenge is because it was not serving its purpose of saving me money. Because what happened was I started buying guitars, which are way more expensive than sci-fi paperbacks and Blu-rays and comics. <clears throat> because I didn't have any personal restriction on myself against buying guitars. I went down a rabbit hole and bought a, about a, more than a dozen guitars in the past couple of months. So I decided to go back to buying comics, which is great because that reignited my passion for reading comics, which I'm always doing. But I took it from reading like two floppies a day to now reading five or six throughout the day. So. I'm back into comics in a big way and I spent a bulk <laughs> of my time this weekend finding and purchasing comics. I got so many packages today and I'm going to show you uh, a lot of this stuff over the next couple days on these videos. But let's start with this: these three books that I got off eBay. There was a seller who was having a whole ton of auctions all ending at once. And they had uh, a kind of combined shipping deal. And I had bid on one of these books. And I thought, oh, I should bid on some of the other ones and get combined shipping. Like, why not? So this is All-Star Comics with the Super Squad, number 59. Um, and I just bid on this because of Power Girl on the cover. And these are these were advertised as low grade. They're not in good condition. And uh, the bid, my bids were the starting bids, which were four dollars and change each. And then the shipping total shipping came out to be five bucks. So figure twenty bucks out the door for these three books. The next one, this is the one that caught my eye that I put a bid on. This is. Brave and the Bold, number 78, Batman and Wonder Woman, guest starring Batgirl in the coils of Copperhead. This is actually reportedly, according to the eBay auction, is the first appearance of Copperhead. So it's a little bit of a key. 
I don't care about that. The reason it caught my eye was because it has Batman and Batgirl in it and also Wonder Woman. But it's cool that it's a key. I'm not going to lie. Uh, first appearances are neat. This one's pretty cool. And lastly, from this little order, we have Brave and the Bold 100. I just thought this was a cool issue, uh, a cool thing to have. The 100th issue, it has Batman, uh, Green Arrow are there on the cover, um, Black Canary, Robin. <laughs> it's, it's, it's cool, and it's a lot going on. And I think it's uh, 52 big pages, don't take less, only 25 cents. Just great stuff there. And this is probably, this is in the best condition out of the whole bunch. You can see it's relatively sharp. There's some creases over here in the corner. Um, but this one's in the best condition. So these just came off of eBay. Now we'll get into the what one of four of the whatnot orders that I made because this is the only one that's come in so far. Two of the orders were from Stash Loot, which is a kind of a one of the bigger seller. They're like a professional production and they do shows all day, every day. Um, and I actually did two relatively large orders off of two different shows that they were running over the weekend. And those haven't even shipped yet. So they're taking their sweet time with shipping them. So that kind of stinks, but it's not a big deal. Um, and then I'm not sure out of the two other orders, one was, man, I can't even remember. This is the other thing that's kind of bad about whatnot is a lot, of, a lot of the shows as they're going through their items, it'll just say like comic book number seven and the next one's comic book number eight and so on. And in your order confirmation and in your account, that's what it says. So what I'm going to do if I ever buy from whatnot again, and I'm sure I will, is screen grab everything that I purchase because th honestly, there could be anything in this package because I don't remember what the hell I ordered. Um, and I'm sure there's ways to kind of track it down or, or maybe there's not. I don't know. But like I said, going forward, I'm going to screen grab everything that I win. And I will say this is very well packaged in a, a Gemini, uh, not overly taped. So I'm happy so far. Now, if this is what I think it might be then it's going to be a, a little bit of a challenge for me to present these books to you. And I'll explain why in a sec. Let me just get organized here. Wow. The one I'm looking at is very cool. I won't spoil it. <clears throat> I got a nice stack here. And you can get carried away. That's another thing that's like, kind of rough about whatnot is if the host is good and gets get your juices flowing and it's like oh man oh, look at this one dollar starts all this stuff and it's just like the the swiping like man you could write essays about this app and i don't think people like it's not controversial like tiktok is or even facebook Man, these are all really good. I want to show them to you, not look at all of them. Okay, cool. Sorry, just getting the tape off here. So here's my problem with what I'm about to show you is that these are all variants. <clears throat> Excuse me. This was a variant show. And I think variants are cool. I, like most people, think they're a tad overdone nowadays. Every book that comes out has to have 50 different variant covers. But I think it's fun. I think it adds a another dimension to the aspect of collecting. We have it in video games as well. Um, for my fellow video game collectors, there's the greatest hits variants of games, and there's always label revisions and stuff that people collect 
with comics it is crazy and i've never been into it but the stupid whatnot <laughs> show that i was watching uh the books seemed cheap and as he was going through i started looking up some of the books and what they were going for on ebay now i gotta wonder because i don't buy to flip if you were buying to flip this would have been a great show and I, the funny thing is i have no interest in flipping i'm not going to sell these these are going in the pc they they i bought them because they look awesome and they have characters that i love in them and i don't like correct me if i'm wrong but what i'm about to show you i don't think will ever be worth more than it is today right do these like modern variants go up in value but stay up in value I'm skeptical of that. I, I'm and I'm really like again. This isn't a corner of the comic collecting world that I've been in ever. So help me out here, because <clears throat> if I go down this rabbit hole, I want to know what I'm getting into. But as I show you these, like I forget. I think these were all five dollar starts, and hardly any of them went over the five dollar starting bid and i didn't want anything here badly enough to like bid it up like i just did a starting bid a lot of these got went unclaimed and he had to rerun them uh so it was in, again this whole whatnot thing is very interesting to me if you use whatnot a lot none of this is new to you and you know this video has been boring so far <laughs> because where the hell are the comic books <laughs> well here they come <clears throat> And the other challenge for me is I don't remember like, oh, this is the this artist variant. I'm not really good with that. Like I know certain artists by seeing their art, but I'm really not good at that. I'm so sorry to these artists and to the fans who are like, oh, that's so and so, you idiot. Like, yeah, sorry. Um, here's Amazing Spider-Man number five, which I purchased because I really liked the art of Spider-Gwen on the cover. One of my favorite characters. Um, one of the only modern Marvel characters that I'm really into. I'm not a, you know, you guys know I'm a big DC guy, not so much a Marvel guy. But I love Spider-Gwen. Uh, next we got Black Cat number one. Sorry, these these bags are particularly shiny and reflecty um so i'll try to keep the light off of them but that's beautiful and i don't know what are these one in 25 one in 100 i don't know that kind of stuff either so that's all interesting here we have the amazing spider-man number 56 another spider gwen cover and again, I really just got these because I like the cover art. That, I, I, that's a terrible way to collect comics, especially for somebody who likes to read them so much. But knowing that variants are more for the covers, am I right in saying that? And like, I probably will never take any of these out of the plastic. If I really want to read any of these issues, I don't feel like I should be handling that. That's so weird because I just said I'm not going to sell them ever. So what the hell is going on? <clears throat> Here's Amazing Spider-Man number 14. This is the first appearance of Hallow's Eve, which is a character that I'm not familiar with. But as soon as I saw this cover, I don't care who it is. I started bidding on it and they had a few uh copies of this so i again i got this one for the starting bid and i'm really happy with it because i love halloween stuff and this is just so freaking cool and this is one i probably will read digitally because i want to know more about this character but this is a sweet cover Here's an egregious, egregious example of I don't even know what 
this is. I had to look it up after the fact and I forgot what I looked up, so I can't even tell you now. This is MFKZ Behemoth. And the only reason I got this was because it's it's an Akira tribute. And I saw it and he had to rerun it. And he's like, nobody wants this. And again, the, the salesman tax, tactics are like, y'all are sleeping on this. Like, oh, come on, shut up. I don't need it. Ah, swipe. All right, I'll, I'll take it. And then as as your purchases start to pile up, you get you hit shipping thresholds and eventually you have free shipping and then you're like, well, I have free shipping now. Why not just go for it? So I haven't been on that damn app since this weekend. Here is Edge of the Spider-Verse number one. Now there's a card in the back here. I can read it to you. This is, oh, by the way, the seller, Frankie's Comics. Uh, Edge of Spider Verse number one, Peach Momoko variant. I heard I heard that name a lot <laughs> with the variants. Some of these that I've already shown were probably also Peach Momokos. Um, Six o four out of a thousand. So this is a a limited limited variant. Yeah, Frankie's Comics is the seller, and I believe they're very close to me. They're like one town over, actually, and I thought, wow, if I'd have known that, I would have like gone and picked them up, but they they didn't have messaging open, so I was like, all right, I'll let them ship. Here we have uh, Dark Knight's Death Metal number. I don't know what number it is because it's covered by this. Um, but again, badass cover. That's all it took. Badass Wonder Woman cover. Do you see the pattern here? I was just looking at the pretty pictures and saying, take my money. I don't know how I feel about that and how I feel about myself for doing that, <laughs> except for that collecting comics is awesome and it doesn't matter why you do it, all right? Here's another Dark Knight's death metal with uh, cover art that lives up to the title of the book. Like, that's that's crazy. I love it. And the last one we have is the Harley Quinn 30th anniversary special. That's a nice square bound thick book and you can see they put it in a magazine sized bag and board but that's really cool I like that one a lot uh, that's the whole haul there again I wish I had more information about who these artists are and I need to get better at that but I also wanted to illustrate my complete lack of care or concern for my money my own money <laughs> and how easy it is to spend it on this stupid app. So uh, next time I use that app, I'm gonna set, set some kind of budget or something and, and be more careful or and screen grab or like write down what I'm ordering. I think Frankie sent me everything that I ordered from them. I'm not saying that anybody did any shady business, but with me that day, you could have gotten away with it because I wasn't paying really good enough attention to what I was buying. But that's just the first of four different orders I did from Whatnot that day. And plus, I have other things that have come in from the weekend that I had just recklessly and wantonly just blowing, pissing away money all weekend so that makes for a lot of fun YouTube content I really appreciate you hanging out with me and just BSing about comics uh, please help me out in the comments with with how you approach variant collecting what is this all about I want to know so thanks for stopping by I appreciate it <laughs>